Good evening, and welcome to our service of Compline on this Wednesday, March 3rd. I'm David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. And we are on the traditional, ancestral, unceded territory of the Shimshan people, for which we are most grateful. Our worship this evening is in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 722. As we are in God's presence and at the end of the day, let us calm ourselves, be still, and wait on the Lord as we come into worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 91, found on page 448. Psalm 91, page 448. We shall say the psalm responsibly by the whole verse. Whoso dwelleth under the defence of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my refuge and my stronghold, my God, in whom I will trust. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall defend thee under his wings, and thou shalt be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. For the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the moon day. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yea, with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the ungodly. Because thou hast said, The Lord is my refuge, and hast made the Most High thy habitation, there shall no evil happen unto thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee in their hands, that thou hurt not thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under thy feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and ever shall, shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of John, beginning in the fifth chapter at the first verse. After this there was a festival, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called, in Hebrew, Beth Zatha, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew what had been, that he had been there a long time, he said to him, do you, not, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. And at once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was the Sabbath. So people said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told people that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore the people started persecuting Jesus, 
because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason, people are seeking all the more to kill me, because he is not only breaking the Sabbath, but was calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Tiluk Sante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors. Be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven. To be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Thou safe, O Lord, keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. The collect for this week. Almighty God, who seest that we have no power of ourselves to help ourselves, keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angel dwell here and to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the children of light banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions this evening for the people and places that are upon your hearts, inviting you to name them aloud or to share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer with you. We pray this night for those who are suffering from the coronavirus, for the continued plateaued numbers in this province, and for all those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds, for those who are recovering at home, for those whose recovery is taking longer and is complicated, for those who are at home awaiting test results and self-isolating, for those isolating in hotels from after journeys, for those waiting for the vaccines. That God's healing hand may be upon us all and upon all who suffer this night. For those waiting for recovering from surgeries, for those undergoing therapies, procedures, treatments, for those who are struggling with spiritual ailments, addictions, for those who are hurt and lonely this night, and for those who are searching for peace, that God may direct them to care, to the care they need, and to those, and give courage uh, to them in their hour of need and to strengthen all who work for the care and cure of the soul. We pray tonight particularly for all those in the medical world, for doctors, nurses, therapists, for counselors, technicians, administrators, policy makers, janitors, uh, um, catering staff, for all the myriad of people who work in hospitals, in care homes, in clinics, for those who continue to offer themselves and continue to offer hope, encouragement, and compassion in these days. We pray that God will bless them richly in their work and in their ministries. We pray for all who continue to research and work on the vaccines, for those looking at the data for how long we can go between the first shot and the second shot, for those who are um, looking into the, the effectiveness of each of the various um, vaccines and for those vaccines that are still in production, for all those who work 
diligently to produce and to study not just COVID, but all diseases, ailments. We pray for those who lead us in the medical world, for those in local health authorities, in the regional, the Northern Health, for Dr. Henry and for all the provincial staff and those across the provinces, territories, the federal government and around the world. And for those businesses that have adapted to provide and meet the needs that we have for medical supplies at this time. We pray God's blessing upon them all, that they may have wisdom, insight, and, and passion for what they do. So they may bring ho hope, healing, and wholeness. We pray for those who lead us. Think of those in the communities, those who have to make decisions about resources and budgets and and what is open and what's not open at this time, and how best to manage uh, safety in the communities. We pray for those who lead us provincially, particularly those who are keeping an eye on how to uh, reboot the economy and to continue to provide essential services. We pray for those who lead us federally, for the ongoing work at the federal level for uh, the economy and for the eye on international scenes about being able to welcome refugees, being able to reach out to other nations that are struggling to be a voice for justice and equity with the distribution of the vaccines and ensuring that everyone in the world can live with the same privileges that we have. We pray for places in the world that are struggling and have strife this night, praying for the ongoing, uh, the ongoing um, riots and the coup in Myanmar, for the plight of the Muslim people in China, for the struggles in Russia, for all the places in the world in which people do not feel safe and are not safe for cultural, ethnic, for age-old fights, praying for the schoolgirls that were returned home, for their ongoing recovery, and for their sense of fear that has been created by that experience. We pray for all those places struggling with natural disasters and for their government's response to keep people safe as they rebuild and as they combat um, all the, the difficulties of the disasters. We pray for those who lead us in the church. We pray this night for Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate. For Mark MacDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop. For the people of this province, as the Electoral College will meet on Saturday to elect a new Metropolitan. For those who lead in the parishes. For the clergy and laity that are helping to make us, to, to, to enable us to be the body of Christ to be the witness of light and love at this time in the communities as we continue in these dark days. I just realized I didn't pray for the pharmacists, the EMTs, all the first responders, and for their uh, work as they encounter people typically on the worst days of their lives, that they may have extra grace and compassion thinking of uh, the court case in Toronto today for that police officer and for the training he received and being able to de-escalate a situation, be able to avoid, um, avoid 
making a situation worse. And and the the hope that we have that all police may find that training and that ability to de-escalate violent situations. And for all our cares and concerns, we pray. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants. Guide the young. Support the aged. Encourage the faint-hearted. Collect the scattered. And bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers. Defend the widows. Shield the orphans. Deliver the captives. Heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need has heard the prayers, Grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings from this day, those grace moments that where you experience the love of God in your life and that you want to give God praise for. I am thankful for our opportunity to gather with clergy across the diocese to have conversation today about the ministry and to... Um, be joined by Canon Davis uh, as he continues to recover from COVID, and to have uh, and to have that time together, and for our wonderful meatless meal this evening, and for the blessing of Pinterest. With your thanksgivings, we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve you this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on the way to bed. I pray you have a most restful night. In the morning at 7 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Mountain, we gather with Pastor Don out of St. Mark's Dawson Creek for morning prayer. At 12.15 Pacific, 1.15 Mountain, the Dean will be next door for midday prayer. I shan't be joining him, and we should have prayed today for uh, Vancouver School Theology's Board of Governors meeting tomorrow, as that's where I will be for the bulk of the morning and into the afternoon. Uh, and then tomorrow night, God willing, I'll be back at 9 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Mountain for the service of Compline again. Until then, rest well. Nighty night. <laughs>